In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to repot and grow blueberries in containers where you can do this. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Justin Lane and I've been managing my family's garden center business, s &K Greenhouse, for the last 10 years. And I make these videos to dispel the myth of a green thumb and prove that anyone can be a successful gardener. With that said, let's rock and roll. I'm in Zone 7, Shelby, North Carolina, and in this state, we're actually a pretty big blueberry producer because we have naturally acidic soil in most areas and we get the right amount of chill time that most blueberries require. So why grow blueberries in containers? Well, it's pretty simple because in a lot of areas you may have alkaline soil. And even if you amend your soil, I know there's some places in like Oregon, Ohio, that even your water will leach out the acidity eventually. And in a container, you can easily control your pH. Also, maybe you don't have a lot of property. These can easily be grown on a back deck or balcony. With me today, I have one of my favorite varieties called Cruer. What I love about this particular variety, it was developed at the University of Georgia and the berries get so big that you can set a quarter down and put the blueberry on top and it almost covers up the entire coin. Now, if you wanna grow blueberries like this at home, it's important to choose the right ones for your zone. And there are five major types, low bush, northern high bush, southern high bush, half high and rabbit eye. Southern high bush varieties, like the name suggests, grow up pretty tall, but they're very disease resistant, self fertile, and produce a lot of berries. But the berries will grow much larger if they're cross pollinated with another variety. Low bush varieties, like the name suggests, stay very short and compact, making them very good for containers. They're not self fertile, so you'll have to cross pollinate them with another low bush or high bush variety but you'll only have to prune these maybe every two or three years. Northern high bush varieties are gonna require the most maintenance because they're gonna get the tallest, growing somewhere around nine feet tall. They are native to Eastern and Northeastern United States, and they're gonna need a pollinator as well. Half high is a cross between big berry producing high bush varieties and cold tolerant low bush species. It's not likely that they're gonna suffer from any type of winter damage and they grow to an intermediate height of two to four feet. They are self fertile, but it is highly suggested that you cross pollinate them with another variety with the same bloom time. And finally, there are rabbit eye varieties. And these are the ones that are predominantly grown in the South because they can withstand our long, hot summers. They are self fertile, but they do a lot better if you cross pollinate them with two or three other varieties. These are going to be heavy producers and grow up to six to 10 feet tall. As a side note, maybe you're in a warmer climate like zone 10. I highly suggest you check out the bushel and berry varieties because this might be an option for you. They require a lot less chill time. All I mean by chill time is that there are certain deciduous plants that require a minimum number of hours at a certain temperature during the winter so that they can wake up, break dormancy, and flower the following spring. No matter the variety or type of blueberry that you choose, they're all gonna need well-draining, acidic soil, and full sun. Now, again, what makes blueberries pretty unique is they need a pH of 4.3 to 5.5. That's pretty low considering that most vegetable or fruiting plants like to stay around six and a half to seven and a half for the pH. Today, I'm gonna be transplanting this blueberry from a three gallon container all the way to a 20 gallon container, and this should be large enough for a permanent residence. A 20 gallon pot may seem large, but you can even go larger. I wouldn't go anything less than 24 inches in diameter. Even though blueberries have shallow roots, they still need to be able to spread out and not get root bound. For the soil, I'm going to be using a homemade mixture, like a one to one ratio of all purpose potting soil and soil conditioner. The soil conditioner is going to provide a lot of drainage and it's made with pine bark, which is slightly acidic, which is going to get the pH right for this blueberry. I'm also gonna be adding in some soil acidifier from Espoma. I love this product because it is organic and this is gonna get that pH lowered to the right amount. There are other soil acidifiers on the market. Just be sure that whatever you're using is safe because you are gonna be eating from this plant. Now, if you wanna keep things simple, you can pick up a pre-made potting mix for acid loving plants. Sometimes this will say on the bag like, for azaleas or rhododendrons. And that's because they have the exact same soil requirements. Okay, and now I'm just gonna go ahead and mix the soil around. That way I get a good, even mixture. 
When it comes to your soil acidifier, make sure to look at the directions specified on that particular brand. I use this all the time, so I kind of know uh, about how much to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and act, add that in now. Now I'm just gonna mix that up in the top few inches of the soil and all of our prep work will be done. Sometimes I would tease the roots a little bit if it was very root bound. This isn't real bad and this is actually the wrong time of year to be transplanting a blueberry. So I'm just gonna lightly comb the roots out. That way they're gonna spread out and not, get, uh, not grow uh, circular. A more appropriate time to transplant a blueberry bush is in the fall or early spring. But I wanna provide you guys as much value as I can. That's why I'm doing it here in the month of July. I also wanna mention that I'm planting the top of the root ball level with the top of the soil. I'm not planting it down deep or up high. And I also just wanna straighten it up a bit. This is the time where if your blueberry was growing a little bit crooked, you can straighten it up now. That way it's not gonna grow crooked its whole life. And if you've been watching this channel for a while now, you'll know that I love to water heavily after each transplant. This is gonna reduce the amount of transplant shock and get rid of any air pockets that the soil may contain. When it comes to pruning, there are three main branches that you wanna prune off. Ones that contain disease, low hanging branches, and ones that cross over in the middle. For example, I may take off this limb right here, this one, and maybe this one and this will really open up the middle of the blueberry bush, creating a lot of air circulation. And we all know by now that air circulation prevents disease. Just like transplanting, pruning in the dead of summer is not recommended. A much better time to prune would be late fall, just as the leaves are falling off the plant and it's going dormant. I also wanna mention that as your blueberry bush matures, you know, it's getting some height on it. Farmers around here will recommend that you cut off a third of the canes each year and you do this for the health of the plant a lot of people are scared to do this because it will cut off potential flowers that will fruit and produce in the spring but this will ensure that you get nice plump large size berries finally let's talk about fertilization in the early spring apply an acid loving fertilizer something like holly tone here again the bag might say uh, for rhododendrons, camellias, and hydrangeas, but it's also going to be suitable for blueberries because they're going to love the same conditions. All right, folks, I hope this helps. Follow this guidance and you're going to be growing blueberries in containers in no time. If you're already successfully growing blueberries at home, let us know down in the comment section what is your favorite variety and let's help some people out. Until next time, become a plant person. <laughs>